recently a couple of students came up to me to find out how to make some new digital ballots uh, <clears throat> for homecoming voting coming up. So I, there are a couple of tricks that I helped show them that I think a lot of people don't know about there in Google Forms. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new form. So I just go to my new, and you can see I'm in the new Google Drive. So I'm going to go new Google Forms. First thing you should do with any form is title it. So this is new form tips. We'll just call it that. And it's important to do that so you know what the form is. And of course, the spreadsheet where the answers are. You want to know where that's going to be. Now, let's say I would want somebody to pick like a ballot. Um, and so in this case here, they want them to vote for up to six people. So pick up to six. Now, they have you know a couple hundred students to put into these options. And if typing those by hand, well, that would take a very long time. But if I already had a copy, so let's say I had an R spreadsheet and I had all those names already in there, I can just go select those names, copy. You see, I already selected check boxes, and then I just go into that first box there and I paste. So Command V, and it automatically filled in all those options. So I can easily go from where I have all the options in one one spreadsheet, copy all of those cells and then paste into the first box of a checkbox or multiple choice, and I will get all those options to show up there. Now, they also had the thing where they only wanted students to pick up to six. Well, normally, you'd have to go through and look, but if you click the advanced settings, you go down, you see there's a data validation. So you can select that, and you can here, you can say that they have to select at least so many, at most, or exactly. So I'm gonna select at most, and then six. Then if I want to put in a little message, you picked too many, and I would get that if they picked more than six. Make it a required question and done, and now I have my ballot question already ready to share out with my students. So again, those are two quick Google Form tips that uh, may save you if you're doing something similar.